Hey guys, so as you can see, I'm not in my room. Um, I actually have a sleep study tonight, which I'm not really looking forward to just because I get like nine stickers on top of my head. I get them on my legs, on my throat, on my face. I just, I'm not looking forward to that. But anyway, um, today's been good. Um, this morning I had some practice, which was really nice. It was the first practice at the outdoor pool, which like I said, really nice because, you know, they just put some all new cement and new tile and they've been working on it for what they say is like three months but it looked like it could have taken like a week um it actually was supposed to be finished a week ago so uh, yeah anyway after that came home talked to Gigi about like what do we want to do for dinner and we agreed that you know Cincinnati chili well so then like an hour later after I've showered and dried off and so on and so forth I go up to the store and I get the like five missing ingredients we were we don't have, which is like um, a pound of beef, tomato sauce, bay leaf, um, chili powder, and uh, one other thing that I can't exactly think that I can't think of, as well as um, shredded cheese and crackers for the chili. Well, you know, get home, start making it. Um, drain out all the liquid after I've ground up all the meat. When I say ground up, I mean like, um, kind of pounded down into like this really fine texture because that's how you have to do it for Cincinnati chili or at least for this recipe of it. And, um, then, um, I'm just trying to think. Mom's in here too. If you, you just saw her out of the corner. Anyway, um, get it all drained, put everything else in, and then after I put more water in, you can just see more fat coming up, and I'm just like, no, no, and I try a little bit of it, and it tastes really weird, because everything just got put in, it hasn't really gotten a chance to simmer, so as, like, the time goes on, I put some more water in it, probably a total of five cups overall, I let it all evaporate, um, and by about mm, five, I'm thinking, or 5.30, I'm thinking, okay, where's mom? I have to leave in half an hour, and dinner's done, so, you know, I go, I call her, or I text her, and I say, where are you? Hold on. Okay, so she calls me, hey, can you come get me from the car shop? I needed to get my car serviced, and no rental place will rent to me, because I don't have a credit card, so... I'm thinking, okay, sure, just wait a little bit, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna feed Gigi, I'll bring you dinner. Okay, so, you know, I eat, I put all the dishes away, like, because we ran the dishwasher today, too, so I put all of those away, um, I get Gigi fed, I put the rest of the dishes in the sink, I put the chili in a much smaller pan, because it was not like, this really big, um, soup pot, and now it's in, like, this saucepan. So, it's a lot easier for her to handle. Um, then, better. Mom just changed from all of her work clothes into her pajamas, so. <laughs> okay, then. Um, you want to close the bathroom door? We're in the sleep center, and, um. Obviously, I'm not hooked up to anything yet. Um, we actually got here late because we were told it's supposed to be at ETCH. You know, Children's Hospital. Well, no. It's at a, um... Thank you, Mom. It's my teddy bear. That you've all seen at, like, some point before. Anyway, um... We're told, you know, it's at ETCH. Well, no. It's not actually at the main hospital. It's at an independent... Well, it's at... A section of the hospital that isn't attached to it. It's like 20 minutes away. So, you know, we come here. We're late. Like, 40 minutes late. But, you know, we got here. And we called beforehand. And, um, yeah. The guy just pretty much talked to me and said, you know, do we have to, like... Is there anything we didn't we need to know about you? Pretty much just went over everything. Do you kick? Do you snore? Do you do all this stuff? So he said he'll show you how it works. Yeah, I just, I just figure it out.
before he becomes a chosen. Whatever. Whatever. I'm not gonna okay, complain. <laughs> we have a table that was a couch. But, um, yeah. Now we're here. And I'm kind of just waiting to get, you know, everything done. Um, hopefully everything will be okay. Everything will run fairly smoothly. But, uh, yeah, I definitely feel like I'm in a hospital. Um, and like I was saying, it is technically a section of ETCH. It's just not attached to the hospital. It's, um, like an outpatient type thing, I guess. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I guess I will just talk to you guys later. See ya.